Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, the finale of season one of Gennady Tartakovsky's Primal. Originally, the Slave of the Scorpion. That's just all these titles are just metal titles now. They are. They are. Well, I mean, honestly, you know what? I think y'all should do a concept album called Primal and, like, go back to the roots of, like, like, go back to, like, roots of, uh, like, make it sound as primal and percussive as possible. I mean, I, that's, I mean, I, I'd want to, I'd want to do cool, like but that. we need a lot of stuff in it that I don't think we have. Like what? Like, just different, like, kind of the drums and stuff. Mm, maybe. But. I don't know. Eh. Either way, well, I mean, you can have a primal sounding drum, uh, like, drum uh, set, and, uh, like, you can add, like, like, guitar on top of it, like, add a little atmosphere, and then when the atmosphere builds and builds enough, you drop right in with the riff, and then, uh, and it's, also, you can change up the vocals a little bit to just be like you, like, you talking, sort of like how Christopher Lee did with that one album, I forget, I forget the name of it. But he did that, and it was fucking metal as shit, dude. Uh, but, yeah. I, it's The name of the band is right here in my head. I remember them doing that album, and I, I bought it on iTunes. Yeah, I remember he had an album, too. I just can't remember what it's called, either. Wasn't I, it uh, Charlemagne or something like that? You know what, damn it. Okay. Let's look at Christopher Lee Metal Album. Christopher Lee Metal album okay what well, there is a the, okay charlemagne by the sword and the cross yeah that's it charlemagne by the sword and the cross and he did vocals for that yeah. it's released in 2010 i remember buying that dude i loved it gosh but yeah anyway uh the slave of the scorpion is the name of this one uh this is the final episode of season one. This was supposed to be a limited series, but the success of this made Tartakovsky just say, all right, we're doing season two. It's like, awesome. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's uh, let's go into it. Let's get it up on screen. And here we go. Oh, what the hell? Another human being? Is that a Mosasaurus? Yeah. Fucking terrifying. You ain't kidding. There you go. I was gonna say he was either gonna come up from underneath or from behind. I figured from underneath because he was still underwater. Whoa, 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 Fang! Bruh. I don't know why you just came out of the ocean, person. Plus, are those chains around your wrist? <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, a no it's like a guard dog. He's like, I don't trust you. Fire. Comfortable to sleep like the the thing on your neck. I don't think I don't think she really has a choice.
very ancient way of thinking. Is, he, is she gonna cook it or something? Ah. Uh, Ah, okay. So she's able to cultivate. <clears throat> cultivate from the land. Bag's <laughs> just like, I like what she cooking. What's going on? <laughs> hey, 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 Fang. Fang, Fang, Fang. You, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. She's like, holy crap, that's good. <laughs> Given their history, Spears just like, just like, you stay over there. And, and Faye's like, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. It's like, all of a sudden, Sears so just like, oh, why, thank you. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Pretty lady, pretty lady, make make nice things. I like nice things. This thing's just mine. It's just balloon right now. <laughs> You can almost see the universe like opening up. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I see right there. Yeah, oh to joy. <laughs> I I see like the the whole meme of like the cat with the little flower on top of his head. It's like the prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> how tall she was. He's got an idea for that. Next. Mia. What? You're from probably a different. Uh, you're from a different culture entirely. Like they probably don't even know. Like all Fang, the all Spear knows how to, how to do. As far as I know, is scream. <laughs> Damn it! Creepy looking bird. Shit! Oh, she made a bow. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm in love. What the hell was that? That's what both of them are instantly thinking. Like, I guarantee you, Fang, I guarantee you, Fang was just like, pretty woman make good food and can kill? I think I'm in love. And Spear's just like, what the hell is that thing? Can I make one too? Arabic, she's speaking. Ooh. 
So basically, a tribe came from an island and enslaved her tribe of people and took them to an island where they were slaved to what she essentially sees as a demon. Yes, and probably the scorpion. I would the, say that's that's the title of the uh, episode. I would say so. Yeah. She managed to break free and escape the island. And that's when she met them. Yeah. So, and that's why she, why we found her coming from the water, is that she swam from the island. And if Spear understands the story she just told, then I have a feeling they might go back to save the rest of her people. Maybe. I mean, it just depends. The whole thing is, uh, what it seemed that she was talking about, like, her people were, you know, peaceful, and they worshipped mm. the moon, they worshipped the moon god. Yeah. The moon, practically. And... Then people came, people from this I- from this island with these mountains, and basically enslaved them, and she escaped. So, and then this guy right here, probably like, also people with spears, which is probably why she was kind of afraid of spear at first too. Yeah, like, uh, either spear. that or like a because it looks like a sword that he's carrying. Well, when she drew the other guys, they looked like they had spears. Uh, no, they have swords. Well, well, maybe yeah, they might have swords actually. So. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I thought for some reason they had them, like, uh, coming out the other side of the hand, but, yeah, they look more like swords, I guess. Well, how she drew it is, like, is very reminiscent of, like, close to Mesopotamian and Egyptian hieroglyphics. Like, because you see, uh, the the people almost, like, how she drew them are almost like letters. Mm-hmm. Same thing here, because she drew, like, the Z, and then she drew, like, the three lines. Because you know how you typically draw a stick person? You draw the two legs, go up, and then the arms... You can have them, like, up, going down, or going sideways. Mm-hmm. Like, her, it was, like, like very clean, precise strokes. It's like it's like uh, calligraphy, almost. Yeah. So, beautiful. It's beautiful, like, they're able to communicate this way, at least. Because when you think about it, that's how Fang, that's how Fang, uh, or how Spear is able to communicate, you know, with, with his family, I believe. Anyway... It's like they had, they had gone back to the ocean and he was planning to swim out. It just looks like a pond. Hop on. Hop on. Just say if anything, you know, just. Got her cheeks blown out like a. Skulls. Difficult ground for a T-Rex. Yeah. Stay, pretty much. <laughs> He's like, damn it! <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Okay. Smart. <laughs> See, her whole thing... <laughs> See, I think her whole thing is like, she is adept at problem solving. Yeah, she has a bit more of a mechanical mind. Yeah. You have to think, you know, before, like, common languages were taught across the world, basically people just, like, like, had no way of, you know, conveying things. You'd have to, like, depend on art or something. Woo! Oh, God. Then again. Oh. <laughs> he eat it 
like ten of them. Yeah, get that back to her. Oh shit! Yeet! Oh, big war hammer. Time to fight. Here we go, baby. Tartakovsky, why you do this, man? That's fucked, bro. Why would you do that? Oh, God, the amount of time we people had to wait for half the season. Now you're making that people wait that much longer again for another season of this. Dude, you're okay, heartless. You're dropping an epic cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I'm not, I shouldn't say that. You're not heartless, dude. You're a great storyteller, but good God, man. Like, that fucked me up. We'd have totally watched more of this without you doing that to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. No need to cliffhanger, bro. Come on. Why you gotta do me like that? My whole thing with this is the first language we've heard spoken in this, and it sounded it sounded Arabic, or it sounded like, um, like sort of Persian or Mesopotamian. I noticed like some like like kind of like syllables in it. Yeah, yeah. And the the way they were talking is very the way the way the words strung together was very was very Arabic. Yeah. It didn't and, it didn't remind me uh, of the language from um Far Cry Primal. No, no, Which that's is like Wanna wind winja like you know, there's like a whole lot of like wa sounds in it and like yeah stuff like that. There's like a wa and ja sounds a lot in their language. And then of course like, we on a model T winja. And then of course we had in this Spears' first word, like we've heard him speak at least, and it was her name. Yeah. And I'm thinking, if anything, he's going to seek out a, a way to get across because. That may be how they insert, like, some actual, like, dialogue into this. Like, dialogue, like, without actually undermining the whole premise of the show, which is, like, we're telling a story without anything that we know is English, you know. It's, like, they, they might start speaking to each other a little bit, but we won't actually understand the words like without having to infer the context essentially does that make sense yeah no i get what you're saying it's like, just like we're inferring the context from their facial expressions and actions like, well yeah up to this point we'll just have to infer the context of what they're saying if they're talking to each other because there'll be a different language of course because you know spear does not speak the con you know like her common tongue and thus they have to communicate through like hand signs or emotions or like or paintings like, her drawing explained to Spear what, in fact, was going on. Yeah. And also, another thing, too, um, with this, it's actually... You can actually draw a parallel. Like, I've, I've made this parallel before, but with this, this is a beautiful parallel to it. You have, basically, civilizations that have advanced quickly, that have advanced more ad more quickly than others. For instance, you look at... The, you know, in the olden days, they used to call where we are now the New World. Mm -hmm. The New World. The Old World had 
huge advantages over the New World. For instance, most of the animals that were over here in the New World were not tameable. The only one that was were llamas, and they were in South America, which which explains why the biggest cities and civilizations were more advanced in South America than they were in North America. Because people forget this. Horses did not exist in this hemisphere until they were brought over from Europe. That's one thing. When I told my dad that, my dad's mind literally like blew the frick up. Because my dad did not know that. That horses were brought over from Europe. Did you not know that? It doesn't entirely make sense to me. What do you mean? I'm assuming a long time before, like, we ever came over here from Europe in the history books as we know them right now. Yeah. If, if that's the case. Oh, yeah, no, but, like, way before, there were no horses. Like, natives did not have horses. No no previous civilization over here had horses. Because horses were not were not uh, bred here. They were bred in, uh, in the middle... Or they were bred in the... Uh, the southern European peninsula and brought into Arabia. Where'd all like the wild horses and mustangs and stuff? They were brought over, them? dude. They were brought over and turned loose to uh, to be here on the land. Hmm. Like you're thinking, like, dude, you're thinking. I understand it. I used to think the exact same thing because you know you're thinking like you know back to movies like uh, you know Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, and all that, and you see like all those beautiful scenes of horses running across the plains. Look. The plains were unoccupied for the longest time by most, by a lot of animals, and then when horses came into the picture, they had this huge land for them to free graze on and build their population. The horse population peaked in, like, 1915, and since then, it's gone nowhere but down. And the thing is, horses are, horses are still, like, used, but they're nowhere near the utility what they used to be. You see, that's why Europe advanced so much faster. Why Europe and the old world advanced so much faster? Because they had horses, they had ox, they had cows, they had they had pigs, and they were able. And they also uh, they had also domesticated dogs uh, at a certain point, and that helped with that helped with herding, that helped with grazing, that helped with everything. And thus, from doing that, you build up and you build civilizations. And then when you build civilizations, more people want to be a part of those civilizations. That's where cities come from. Then boom. He actually explained it in his plagues video, how how p- plagues were more common in the old world, and why you know typhus, measles, tuberculosis, whooping cough, uh, smallpox, all of them are from the old world. The only one that came from the new world was an STD, and I forget which one that was, but it was a it was an STD. I think it was a gonorrhea. I think came from uh you know came from the new world. That's the only one that transferred over to the old world but every single plague and every single disease that was there came over with the new with the settlers and thus they infected the native population and the native population had no biological defense against it and that's why 90 percent of the native population died like that i mean that's like i know people you know talk about like oh the plains wars and all that more than 90 percent of the native population was killed via exposure to old world diseases that's what did it i mean you had i believe it was around 15 to 20 million natives here more than 14 million of them were dead from disease and that's that's terrifying to think about Mm -hmm. that's absolutely terrifying and that's just like the plague the plague episode of this that's another parallel to that but the parallel that i'm making is her civilization seems to be more advanced because they have boats with sails, with oars, they have uh, they have shoes, they have bows and arrows, they have everything, and spear, just a spear, and his wits and his uh, and his ability to like, like he he's more agile and more athletic from what it seems. And a loincloth, huh? And a loincloth. Yeah, and a loincloth. <laughs> he still has that, which at least he covers his butt <laughs> and his junk. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think they'd be able to get away with this show if it was him naked running through yeah, just his just flopping around, around. helicopter and hit people. <laughs> <the stadium. laughs> That's terrifying. That'd be terrifying to him. Ter- I I don't want to think about that. 
You know, originally when Frank Miller made the 300 comic, all the Spartans were naked? <laughs> I kid you not. When he made the original comic for 300, all the Spartans were naked. Because apparently, according to the old like uh, story of the 300 Spartans, that they literally went in no with nothing but their shield and their spears. That's how proud they were. But I think effectively this gives us a objective for the next season, you know, finding out where they took Mira and effectively dealing with the Scorpion, whatever that, you know, whatever that is. I don't know. There's so many things that can be done. There's so many things that you know, that they'll be able to do with this series. I mean, the world's opened up effectively. The world has opened up even more and I'm interested to see what's going to be next. But anyway, okay. that, well that's going to do it. This was a uh, Gennady Tartakovsky's Primal. This was Season 1, Episode 10, the finale, Slave of the Scorpion. So, hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you all. 10 out of 10 shows so far. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. I can't wait to see the, what happens. And also, uh, if you all are uh, interested in seeing Season 2, then stay tuned. So, whenever it comes out, we're going to react to it, or try to react to it on a weekly basis. So, uh, you all be able to enjoy that, but for now... That's going to do it. Until then, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out.